Hovering is not healthy for Expo <laughs> at all. At the, by the point that you get to the, the venue, it's on them. At the minute they hit the door, they're on their own. They know where the supplies are, they know where the computers are, they know they, you, they should have practiced everything before you go there. And you know what, that's your release. You're a spectator at that point, it's on them. Just calm them down and say, you guys have practiced, we've gone through everything, make sure that they're confident, you have this. Now you just have to execute and back off. Now if something breaks, of course, have some crazy glue and have your little pack of, you know, extension cords and things like that. But other than that, let them, let them perform. It's been a long road, but uh, we're here. And, uh, this is the exciting day. Expo Fest is a competition, right? And, and we often use the, the kind of analogy of, of sports. If you were the commentator, you know, on the side talking about Expo Fest, just as there is sort of unbelievable talent and skill and depth on the basketball court, there is on the Expo Fest floor. It's just the things that we break, it, break down and look at and the judges look at are these kind of high quality, both academic, but also transferable skills, interpersonal skills, and they have a common language to judge that all on. They're right in there, they're right in their faces. So a team will be pitching and a judge will, will, will stop them and say, well, walk me through your cost benefit analysis of this, or give me an example from your focus group. So it's for heating up the environment inside the car without using the gasoline fuel. I'm always really impressed with how the students are able to take what they've learned in their classes and apply it to solving a problem, um, which is really what employers want to see. So I think that's something that really excites me about the Expo. For me, it's all about inter interdisciplinarity, you know, making connections between the different science disciplines, but then also more broadly than that. So connecting science to school of business, to arts, humanities, and I think the Expo does that in a terrific way. And I think that's what I hear from employers, that's what they want to see. You know, they really don't want to see people that are just scientists, right? They want to know that people can communicate well, they can connect what they're learning and what they're doing to other disciplines. We are here to tell you that many Americans take water for granted. And they said that we did a really good job and we had one of the best websites. Yeah. So what the students typically do, they jump into science. And believe me, I'm a scientist, this is all exciting, but having a bigger uh, a bigger picture of why what you're doing is important and how are you addressing a certain issue. I think this is this is what's sometimes missing. So you are the expert and you uh, know the project inside out, but others don't. Start uh, in general terms, like why why is what you're doing important and how are you trying to solve the problem? So make a, a very general statement, even a, a 30 second pitch, why what you're doing is important and then go into details. And I think for students and teachers to prepare, the best thing is just to practice and to interact with as many people as possible and really come up with an elevator speech because that's what it's about really is communicating the excitement about your project in a very concise way. The other thing is um, be well prepared don't wait till the last minute, you know, get the materials out for the judges as soon as possible. How much um, this would cost to make as opposed to a traditional ice um, salt that's yeah. used amount? In terms of alfalfa meal and calcium carbonate, those are really cheap. Um, we found them like $5 on Amazon. It's important to me to know that there's teamwork. So I really like to see that there's, you know, everyone that's there is involved in some way and they're clear about what their, their position is on that team, what their responsibilities are. It's right that maybe there'll be one or two people that are the spokespeople for the team. That makes a lot of sense. But there'll be other people on the team that maybe would have a different role. And so they should know what that role is and be able to explain that. Because that's the way it is in industry, or, you know, no matter where they work. You know, know what the judges are going to be walking through. You know, it's a very loud room. You know, speak clearly. But then also be well prepared, again, everyone on the team to answer questions. Spend five minutes driving your car. You're wasting one floor from a couple of guys. Me as a judge, uh, I, I look at the general understanding uh, and I, I try to ask challenging questions. What would happen if? Um, so rather than saying, hey, this is the project and I like it, I want to see if, okay, what if I challenge you a little bit more? What if? What happens if I ask this question? And then I see it, uh, I look at students' reaction and it's obvious if someone really understands the project or whether they just follow the protocol and 
uh, and wanted to finish the project in time. And this is what scientists do. Uh, we don't have all the answers, I can promise you that. Uh, attract the arsenic and take it out of the water. One thing that I feel they can add to the presentation is a 30 second or a one minute video or snapshots of how they went through the project. What was their journey to this final presentation that they made? And what did they learn along the way? You know, that would be exciting for me to see. I'm more interested in how they learned and what they learned, not what they arrived at. Because it's a school project, right? It's about learning. What prepares them for the real world, I think, is first, they had a creative idea, which they tried to convert into a product or a solution or a demonstration. They worked in teams. The future is where it's not gonna be one guy trying to develop things. It, you know, teamwork is a big thing. They learned to work in teams. They probably worked very hard at it. And then they learned how to present and how to stand confidently in front of guys like you know, the judges and the visitors were going to ask them all sorts of questions. So it gives them the confidence to speak up. Those are all elements that people need to build, the students need to build to have a successful professional career. The most important skills that students walk out of Expo Fest with are problem solving, communication skills, creativity, and confidence. Confidence is huge. You'll see students that can't stand up in front of five people at the beginning of the year and they're at the big pitch at the end of the year in front of thousands of people giving their presentation. So I think that's where students grow the most. From East Haven, Ice Attackers! Our kids were incredible. Um, just, I saw everything come together. It was six months of hard work in, in three minutes, and the kids did such a great job, and they're excited about it, which is, as a science teacher, we want our kids to love science, because that's how we're going to get them to take science careers, is that passion and that enthusiasm.